Facebook employees attacking Mark Zuckerberg for a stance on President Trump's comments. Our Julia Borston has the latest. Julia. Morgan, that's right. A number of senior Facebook executives publicly sharing their outrage at Mark Zuckerberg's decision not to flag or put a warning label on President Trump's posts that could incite violence. The head of product design for Facebook's newsfeed, Ryan Friedis, tweeting, quote, Mark is wrong and I will endeavor in the loudest possible way to change his mind. Going on to say, I focused on organizing 50 plus like-minded folks into something that looks like internal change. Jason Sturman, a design manager at Facebook, writing, quote, I'm not alone inside of Facebook. There isn't a neutral position on racism. Director of product management, Jason Toff, writing, I'm not proud of how we're showing up. The majority of co-workers I've spoken to feel the same way. We are making our voice heard. Facebook responding to this just moments ago, telling us, quote, we recognize the pain of many of our people are feeling right now, especially our black community. We encourage employees to speak openly when they disagree with leadership. As we face additional difficult decisions around content ahead, we'll continue seeking their honest feedback. Now, last night, Zuckerberg posted that Facebook is committing an additional $10 million to groups working on racial justice. And Zuckerberg reportedly had a phone call with the president on Friday. Now, this all started when Trump posted last Thursday night um, on Facebook, including saying, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Zuckerberg defending his decision not to flag this or pull it down, saying, quote, I disagree strongly with how the president spoke about this, but I believe people should be able to see this for themselves because ultimately accountability for those in positions of power can only happen when their speech is scrutinized out in the open. Now, in contrast to this, the president tweeted something very similar. Twitter did put a warning label over concerns that that could incite violence.